What's up, Zox fam? Now, we're going to be taking a look at Koharu, getting into her kit, and as well as showcasing her, testing her out. Uh, now, with that, guys, definitely make sure you guys like, subscribe, so you don't miss out on any of the content. We are speed rolling and getting closer and closer to the anniversary, uh, and this seems to be one of the first major stepping points to that, all right? Now, of course, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it, uh, and we're going to do a quick recap on her kit, just uh, for those that don't know what she does. Uh, so, what she's doing in the s1 she's going to be able to do some damage based off her attack at hp uh, she dispels one debuff on herself and then gains recovery for one turn um, on the s2 you're going to be able to see her inflicting uh, disease and seer she does some more damage based off attack and hp uh, and then with her uh, kugura dance uh, she'll be able to uh, also heal our allies uh, and the healing is eight percent of her max hp which is a size this is a decent amount it's not like crazy right um then you have her prayer dance so it attacks all enemies and damage is 30 percent of her attack whereas it's five percent of her max hp and then it also has a 75 percent chance of inflicting attack down for two turns uh and then all allies um in the kugura dance for two uh, grants all allies the kugura dance for two turns right um so she also has a captain lead now there's a video i have that i'm going to be talking about this specifically because i actually already figured it out but we'll talk about that later but she has a increased attack and story infinite miracle and calamity island but we're not gonna have to worry about that she's not using that right uh now equipment what are we using on her uh for the time being now because she does do scale damage off her uh hp that's what we're going to be kind of emphasizing the other thing is she's not a dps so i think that that's another thing we're trying to kind of you know x out of the box um so hp percent hp percent and speed right very self-explanatory uh we have her on the Aegis set so that's extra shield um equal to uh max hp 15 percent um and then we have the speed so it's 25 percent more speed uh, i would definitely say obviously uh kits i can see or sets i can see working on her astral ocean waves um very typical support sets um healing efficiency if you really want to but not really so much of an emphasized thing i feel like because she doesn't heal as much but you could make her more potent if you really wanted to so that's entirely up to you all right guys so now we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and test her out in ritual miracle on a pep now this is probably one of the main places i wanted to test her uh because she does have elements that will work honestly really well for a pep so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and start this fight uh, now, the thing is, is just to kind of give like a role fulfillment requirement for a pep. You need a defense break. We, uh, You need a disease unit. And then you just need your cleanser, heal, and damage, right? Uh, so what we have, we have our defense breaker coming from Bruce, uh, Brewster. And then Koharu is going to be our disease unit. So it is separating the roles. Um, whereas like if you use Jozer, Jozer is going to be able to fulfill uh, two of those roles um, by himself. Uh, so he is still very obvious optimal but i will say for those that are starting out if you're not able to get jozer right away um hopefully you know she is a more reliable uh in terms of how you have accessibility to her um to be able to have her uh, as an option for this right uh now let's see what we're looking like on the actual boss phase here so we got our first dispel already going now what we do need we need a defense break and we also need uh, disease. So we're, that's the only thing we kind of need to see before we can really start doing any damage. Because otherwise, a pep will just heal all of that. There we go. So we got our disease. All right, let's see here. Well, what are we working with? All right, so we're getting hit. We're getting hit with some sizable numbers here. All right, so it looks like everybody's going to be rotating at least into a turn of healing, which is really nice. All right, so we got all those debuffs off, which is great. And I think Sally should be coming up soon. There was a heal, nice. Sally should be coming up soon for her heal. All right, so this is not bad. They're actually sustaining themselves pretty solidly. Uh, a lot better than I thought they were. And not gonna lie, those extra heals, like the one coming from Queen Mother, Koharu being able to heal, Sally being able to heal, that's like all really, really huge with keeping us alive here. All right, so let's see. Brewster might be out of here. Oh, it took my Sanders too. That's unfortunate. Now, what I will say, the only thing that might be a saving grace here is when he actually gets his turn. Um, if Queen Mother throws off enough poisons, we might be able to kill uh, a pet with just poisons. 
There we go. So a pet might just die from just poison. So we'll see. So we got hit with some, some truck damage right there. Ooh, that was good damage. That was pretty good damage, actually. So honestly, they just might be able to... Uh, to rotate around enough damage to where a pep can die from poison. So let's see. Yep, so we got another one right there. So yeah, it looks like they're able to... I'm pretty impressed. This is actually pretty impressive. Wow. That was actually impressive. That was actually impressive. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually impressive. I'm actually like, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Okay, I didn't think they were gonna sustain themselves like that. But considering all things, they actually they actually sustain really, really well. And let's actually, you know what? What I'm intrigued. I wanna try. Let's try Sun Sung G as well. So let's go ahead and quick equip him. Uh, these are terrible. We need defense percent. Um, let's go ahead and do. Let's take off uh, anybody's piece. So yeah, let's take off Ethan's. Okay, let's. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try Ethan here because I feel like Ethan's gonna give us, uh, or taking off Ethan's gear. We're gonna try Song G because I'm actually really intrigued now, to see how well she performs with this. Let's see. Okay, okay, so I, okay, we gotta actually see that run now. We actually have to see this run. So let's try this with Sung Ji. I'm, I'm so confused, cause I didn't think this was gonna be like a good comp, but now I'm kind of intrigued to see. All right, so let's see. So we got the full defense percent build on him. So yeah, this is actually like, again, just to be testing this out, this is actually like really insane. Okay, diseased. We got our stun, which is great. So pretty much now we have a double disease prop chance. So Sanji can do disease. Um, only thing we might be missing though is a defense break. I, I didn't think about that. We might be missing a defense break, but... Other than that, we still got our AP pushback, so we might still be able to make this work for what it's worth. All right, there we go. I just want to see. I just want to see if this can clear, because if it can, that's actually insane. All right, so we got a couple of different moves going here. All right, so we're getting we're getting hit with some some pretty massive damage. Looks like off rip. It was like 19k, but the restoration is huge. Yo, this team better not be low-key good. <laughs> this better not be low-key good, bro. I mean, it's slow as heck. But I'm just saying, when you're first trying to get this stuff cleared, it doesn't matter. You're just trying to clear it. All right, so now we should be going for a cleanse on... Queen Mother's next turn. Oh, nice on the Purify. That helps out a lot. And he also has the HP swap too. So that's going to be another really big thing. Dispel there. Yo, this team is... Yo. <laughs> this team is not really beating a pet, bro. I'm sleep. Okay. I'm I, like honestly, I'm really surprised. Like, not, not even gonna lie to you guys. Like, I'm really surprised this is working. Cause all this would need is a solid defense break. But again, I will say with even Joser, even with the Joser swapped in, I'm not gonna lie, she's working really well. So I can't wait to get her on her on, on my main account because that's gonna be a real true telltale on how good like she is. But just being able to test her out, not gonna lie, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, the sustain on this team is nuts. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just like, 
Yo! And this is with no defense break. I'm not gonna lie. The sustain on this team comp is actually disgusting. Wow. I am I am actually like baffled low key. Like, cause this is just the work down is so stupid. Good. And we haven't even needed to actually uh HP um HP swap yet because their HP hasn't dropped low enough for them to do it. Wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just like, oh my god, bro. This might be like the craziest thing because, like, Sun G was pretty, pretty meh, I feel like, for a pep. But just seeing him work on this team comp the way he's working is just so dumb. Like, <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. All right, what the heck? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. She seems pretty decent. Like, I, like honestly, for what it's worth, just out the box, throw, throw her on a team comp. She seems pretty decent. Not gonna lie, her with Sally and Queen Mother is kind of disgusting. They're sustained. You guys just literally watch them three support that freaking, well, really a control, but still. Or no, three support. No, three support that freaking boss, okay? Like, that was a, little, a legitimate thing that just happened. And then the song G is just throwing me for a loop though. That is just throwing me for an absolute loop. Cause even if you go to blitz, let's see. It's still like, this is consistent. There's no way this team is consistent. Yo. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna be that, guys. I mean, I guess I somehow, some way, just found a consistent, a pep random team for no reason. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about Koharu. I'm pretty stoked um to see some in-game gameplay with her, some true in-game gameplay with her. Um, again, really fortunate enough to be able to test them out, so you guys can get some, you know, insight on the characters early. Uh, but that's gonna be that with this one, guys. Stay charged up. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.